Alright, now most of you know about Bixby routines which automates devices features and settings according to the time and place. And I'm sure you are also aware that there is a good lock module called Routines Plus which makes the Bixby routines more powerful by adding more features to it. Now inside this Routines Plus module, we have got something called Touch Macro which not many of you would be aware of. So in this video, I wanted to explain you guys what exactly is this Touch Macro, how exactly it works. Before we go ahead, if you love watching contents like this, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Let's target at least 500 likes for this video, so go ahead and smash that like button as well. Now, let's get started. Let's open GoodLock application. As you can see here, we've got Routines Plus. Let me tap on this now. Here we've got some additional routines which can be created and these are integrated into the main routines feature on your phone. Now here you see we have run a touch macro. Let's tap on this. Here it says run a touch macro if condition is start manually. So we don't have any other options here for the if condition. We can only start it manually, which means we will create a widget on the home screen. We can just tap on that to start this routine manually. Now the then condition. Now in the then condition it says touch macro not set. So we will have to create a touch macro here. Let's tap on this and tap on add. Now let's select an application. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I will select clock. I'll tap on next. Now you can see we have got an all new window here which shows play, record, remove, clear all, hide, save and close options. Here we can record the touch actions. Let me tap on record. Now let's say I want to scroll all the way down and turn on a particular alarm and then probably go back and uh, again turn on another alarm here or turn off another alarm here and let's tap on this plus button and create another alarm and save it. Now these are the actions which I have created using touch macro. Once it's done, I will tap on stop and then we have this option save, I will tap on save. We can enter the touch macro name here. We can also set the starting delay time, repeat, time between repetitions. So all these options also we have. Then we can just tap on save. After we do this, we need to save this touch macro to create a widget on the home screen. Let me just tap on save. It says add to home screen. I will tap on add. Now we have got an all new widget for this touch macro we have just created. Let's go to home screen. As you can see, we have this touch macro. When I tap on this widget, the touch macro is going to run. As you can see, whatever the actions we have created is running on its own. It is setting the alarm, it is turning off the alarm, it is creating an alarm as well. So whatever we have created is being executed here automatically. That is just crazy, isn't it? This is the next level automation we have on a phone. Now recently we also got an update for this touch macro which added a cool new feature. As you can see at the bottom right corner we have got this stop or close buttons as well when the touch macro is running. Now this was not there before. Now let's say if you have started this touch macro, you can also immediately close it or pause it by tapping on these buttons. This is a new feature which was added with this all new update we received just a couple of weeks ago. This is just a brilliant feature which has been added by Samsung on its Bixby Routines Plus module on GoodLock. Let me know how many of you guys are aware of this particular feature, how many of you guys are using this. Drop a comment and share your thoughts about it. And while you do that, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a like for the video as well. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Bye-bye.